Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Suzanne Gunderson from Screen Right Now. I help screenwriters and industry creatives to naturally de-stress, get focused into their creative rhythm and flow, develop tremendous confidence, and deepen their emotional worldview into wisdom and truth. That way they can hook every audience. So today's video is a part of my Industry Wisdom Bit series where I'm bringing to you professionals in television and film to share with us one golden nugget of wisdom or advice that's helped them in their career and maybe can help you too. So today we're joined by Susie Singer Carter. Susie, thank you so much for being here today. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. I just, I'm excited to be here. Um, I am I'm I am a writer first, and I'm I'm also I, I guess I'm a bit of an auteur. I, I write and direct and act and produce. And if I have to edit, I'll edit. And if I have to do graphics, I do graphics, whatever it takes to get something done, I'll do it if I don't have someone else that I can shove it off to. So you know, amazing. So yeah, you, 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 you played a bunch of different hats in, in, your, in your career. Which is, which is good because the, the thing is, is that, you know, if you are a director, then it's good to know how to act or at least understand it. You know, mm -hmm. so understanding everybody's job, it may not be the lane that I live in or drive in every mm -hmm. day, but at least I understand it and I know how to speak it and get what I want as the creator. But I love it. So yeah. you're well-rounded. So you must have a tremendous amount of experience and we're only going to ask you to just share one gem or golden nugget of that. So <laughs> of all of that broad range of what you know how to do, uh, what is it you'd like to share with our audience today? Well, I, I, I always like to share this with writers who, you know, especially writers who haven't gotten into their guild yet and you want to, you know, and you're really trying to break through and become, you know, not just you're saying you're a writer and pronouncing it, but, but actually you can get, have a credit, you can, you can, you can flaunt it, you can be an IMDB. And I, I, the way that I got my first credit as a writer, I think is, is I didn't know I was doing the right thing, but looking back, it makes sense. So when I was, I had, I had worked on a couple of different projects for TV with a producer director who I, I did, I did write, I, when I'm talking about my first writing, this is my first feature film writing. So I had wrote for two television series for CBS, Saturday morning for tweens. And the producer who was also a director got hired to write, a, a, not write, to, to direct a movie called Bratz, so for Lionsgate. And he called me up and he said, do you know these dolls? They're brats. I don't know. It's like, and I said, oh my God, of course I have two daughters. What are you kidding? Have you seen the way I dress? Hello. <laughs> so I said, I, yes. And he said, good, you're hired to come and you need to be like at least an associate producer. I need your help. I need you to, I have no idea what these are, you know, but it was live action. So I said, I'm there. I'm so there. And, um, they had already started their casting and they were on callbacks. And so I was sitting in on the, on the, one of the uh, callback sessions and the executive producer who comes from the Marvel background, he's a very big name. I won't say who he is, but he was, you know, hilarious. And he would, he, you know, he, as soon as someone would leave on the callback, he'd go, who brought this piece of crap in? <laughs> They're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> everyone one after another he hated every actress and I knew from being an actress I could see who was struggling and who wasn't and and why were they struggling it was because the scenes were were horrible they just didn't give them enough you know to really Latch dig into too. and show what they could do so I turned to the director and I said listen I don't think these girls are that bad and I think I said I can do you want me to write like a, a draw like maybe a little emotional scene and then a comedic scene for them for their next callback and he said yeah would you do that I go of course why not I feel sorry for them like they're just they don't have enough <laughs> they're being chased out but they're not grabbing on to anything yeah yeah so I did and they came back again and the executive producer was over the moon he said what happened who wrote this who and so the director said Susie and he goes fire that other bitch, she's hired. Because <laughs> they didn't like their script anyway. And I did, I started with a page one rewrite. Oh, and wow. that's how I got my first feature film. And that was by being a, team a mom player. of two daughters who, you know, who knew but how also to relate. Being a team player by, by saying yeah. like, I know how to, I could, I can help these people. 
it doesn't, it's not going to make me any more money. I didn't think of that. It was just, let me, like you were saying when, before we started recording, it's like, you know, whatever you do, be the best at what you do, like commit to it and, and give yourself fully. And if there's something that you can do that you noticing that no one else is, is, you know, doesn't quite have that vision. Yeah. Why not share it? Why not, you know, throw your hat in the ring and, you know, don't, don't expect anything to come back, but often it does. Yeah. But, and, and don't be afraid to be you, you know, yeah. be you because, because you stood up and said, Hey, how about if I write this, I know how to write this way. And I can show you some different range of these actors that might give you, you know, a sense of where they belong here, you know? So, yeah. so great that you shared with that. Yeah. And I just, I always tell young actors, not actors, writers to do that because not do exactly what I did, but, but, you know, and it's also something that my mentor told me who I worked for a showrunner when I first started. And he would say, Susie, always help people and don't expect anything in return. That's just a, a good way to be in, in this business. You just should. And I've always been that way, you know, and I, I run workshop, not workshops, but committees at the WGA, which is the Writers Guild of America. And, you know, for women to support other women and it's, and it's like, there's room for everybody. Yes. And, and everybody needs to keep the door open for the next person. There's plenty of room at the party. So let everyone, let them in. If they're, if they got that far and they're at the door, let them in. Yeah. And when you're in, don't be afraid to shine and show people what your capacity yeah. is, you know, and have that broad based experience. Like you said, you did everything from your own graphic design to writing, to producing, to all of it. So yeah, have some broad experience. that's going to lend you to be able to pitch in and be a value mm -hmm. and be willing to share your value and, and stand by your value and know who you are. I love it. That's yeah. Fantastic. And it, it's, it's fun. And it's, and it, and it, you know, you, you do feel your value. Like you said, it's like, I am also love fashion. And so of course, here's a little, here's a little movie, you know, with fashionistas. And it's like, of course I'm, you know, I'm 35 yeah. at the time, 35 going on, on 15. And I'm of <laughs> course, you know, no, they wouldn't wear that. Let me talk to the costume designer. <laughs> I, I was, I was in everybody's grill, but you know, I, I think, that that if you do it right, it's appreciated. It's it's you know it's a team. It takes a village. Yeah. Well, when you do it, you're doing it from that inspired, authentic place. It's really you. Somebody else who doesn't have who isn't you isn't going to be able to show up the same way that you did. And so you really were super authentic and and be able to be a valuable asset to people. That's why they said we want her on board. Bring her with us. Take her with us. <laughs> Fantastic. And and yeah, and and the same for other people. When I see somebody else who's like tell you know they're just all in it they're 120 percent in on any project you, you just want to work with them again and you want to work with people that love what they're doing you know Absolutely. I remember actually the, the writer before I got hired as the writer on that said movie I remember the writer that was fired said came in one day making her breakfast egg sandwich and saying oh, god I hate this job and I was like I, in my mind, I thought, how, how, and why are you here then? Like, mm -hmm. it makes no sense. Like, why are you here? Do something else that you love then. Yeah. Know who you are and, and share it with the world as a service. Like we were saying before we mm -hmm. hit the record button. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom today. I'm sure it's going to touch so many people and, uh, and, and inspire them too, to uh, feel, feel secure in knowing that their authentic self is exactly what's needed in the, in the, in the world of television and film. Uh, so how can we find out more about what's going on with you today? Of course, you can go to my Facebook page, which, which is Susie Singer Carter and at Susie Singer Carter or, um, uh, Instagram at Susie Singer Carter. Um, I'm on Twitter, but I don't really follow it that much. It's too chaotic. And then I'm also, I'm at gogirlmedia.com on, for my website. And I also have a podcast called Love Conquers Alls and it's for caregivers. And it's, and it's an extension of my short film, My Mom and the Girl. I highly recommend it. If you have anyone in your life that is a caregiver, whether it's for Alzheimer's or anything, mm. it's really a great, safe and wonderfully resourceful podcast and make you feel a lot better. <laughs> how beautiful, how beautiful. And so where can we go see the movie that you wrote about your mom? You can, it's on Amazon, it's on iTunes and in a lot of different places. You'll find, just Google my mom and the girl starring Valerie Harper, you'll find it. You'll love her. It's her last performance. and. 
I can't say enough about it, not because it's my project. It just, it's a little magical nugget. Beautiful. Well, all the links to where uh, Susie's just mentioned will be in the description box of the video. Thanks everybody for watching today. Uh, feel free to pop on over to my website screen right now and download your free ebook copy, Three Steps to Get Pitch Ready. That way you can get authentically aligned and hook your audience with your story. Susie, thank you so much for being with us today. And thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay.